Aloha ladies and gentlemen, so right now we're looking at the scene over here. One one thing I, I just observed was there were uh, there were a group of uh, yoga students, quote unquote, yoga whatever, yoga participants and their uh, teacher. Um, so uh, primarily women in the class, uh, black eye teacher. I just want to illustrate uh, this as an example and future reference. As you know, I, I often try to make points to help people to transcend a, an uncertainty about who they are and whether they're attractive, their body, whether somebody, you know, who, who's the right one, what's the right one, well, let's say, even if those people, uh, those ladies were interested in the guy, quote-unquote, maybe he has a, a bigger, you know, dick, maybe uh, some guys are interested in a yoga instructor woman because she has a bigger ass, whatever, whatever. The point is that, why... You know, are those people that you would want to be with? Would you want to be around, you know, would you be attracted to, say, a woman who is trying to, say, flirt with some guy because she finds him attractive and then, you know, somehow... You get what I'm saying? Like, this is not a bash against people in their different body... Uh, types and qu qualities because I celebrate individuality but I also celebrate formality and uh, respect and class not no casualness about intimacy you know the same goes with you know the Zen the, the Zen way I live my life I live my life in Zen. So for example, if I want to see a woman, you know, the beauty of a woman, I go to a strip club. Uh, it would be nice if those strippers were married, because then there would be no other elements in play. It would just be a pure art, the art of a woman and her vagina. And, you know, we, we can celebrate that as, as men or even as women. But particularly men, heterosexual, and, and women who find other women physically attractive. Now, so it's the Zen because I just go straight to the club. I don't, I, you know, I don't like look around and sort of get teased by, I mean, I do look around when public, you know, women dressing sexy, but I do not, for example, uh, a nudist party is an example of where, first of all, I don't want to see other guys naked, second of all, I don't want to see women who are maybe partially showing off their pussy, I want to, you know, see the full image, the full experience, the full entertainment and that's what I mean by Zen and this is the same goes with you know you know am I concerned you know it's it, part of this has to do with a differentiation between a pino centric and uh, pussy centric society where you have some people you know who like to talk or make references to the penis and sometimes breasts you know, kind of more overt symbols of sexual sexuality or the human being. And then you have the pussy, which is more subtle um, and it's special, of course. You know, it's a, it's a sensory experience: touch, taste, smell, feel, sound, and so. The point being is that I'm not so worried about 
you know, and, and other people shouldn't be worried, guys shouldn't be worried about their uh, penises, you know, like a concentration on that or what people think, but rather it should be about a woman's vagina, her clitoris, her, you know, the lips, and of course, the skin health. Skin health is going to be the primary attracting factor. As much as, say, breasts and ass, which are somewhat collections of fat, and as much as they may look attractive, they actually contribute to aging. They hold toxins within them. And it's the skin health that truly... Oh, wow, there's surf out. Check out the surf. It's, it's, it's really skin health that, um, that, that is more attractive. Like, would you have rather have a slim body as a woman or, or you know, uh, maybe not the most attractive body as a man, uh, but have really, really nice skin? So, for example, would you rather look 10 years younger than people your age? You're going you're gonna to have more uh, sex appeal. You're going to be, you know, and... But yes, my conclusion uh, here, guys, is, uh, and and, and uh, furthermore, the, just this, this just half-hearted tease of 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 men, uh, you know, hiring such things as maybe a f or going to a female yoga instructor, female psychologist, female life coach, female, you know, uh, g gym uh, trainer, female doctor. The, you know, there's enough men in the world and women in the world that we can all respectively uh, go to these professions and, you know, these professions um, segregated by the different, uh, you know, male and female sexes, you know. So, and and it's not an avoidance of sexuality, rather, but, but rather a celebration of it. It is not a... It's not a hiding of sexuality, but rather uh, an embracing of it. You know, gender separate schools allow for people to not have to numb themselves in order to be near the opposite gender, but rather keep a, a distance, an energy distance. So this guy's about to uh, uh, come down. That should be fun. Let's see if he can get a good slide. But, uh, you know, I think you guys. <laughs> Awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining me for this brief moment. Uh, and I think you get the idea as always. Celebration of the woman. Uh, focus on her. Instead of men. Instead of other things. Oh, shit. This wave's coming. Oh, my God. Oh! Woo! Are right, you guys. Six, you know, a, a good night from Hawaii. A, a lovely Honolulu uh, sunset. But well, you guys get the idea. Thank you for tuning in. And let's visualize some brilliant white light. Imagining a brilliant smile on the person that you're upset at. The person that you're maybe romantically interested in. Not trying to push them. But wanting purity and love. In fact, say it. Say purity and love. Whenever someone asks, well, are you, you know, you want to play around. You want to mess around. Of course you don't. You know, you are, you are purity. You are love. And you are committed to your future dream mate. And you can... Say that you can remind yourself of these things, but you know, just imagine these people smiling, whoever they may be, smiling joyfully. Somebody you think owes you money or an apology, or you owe them an apology. Imagine that person smiling. Now imagine a brilliant streak of light, white light just coming down upon them, illuminating them. Uh, you know, you see them holding a sphere of brilliant white light. Attaching it, you know, connecting, activating their aura. Uh, you know, just, just imagine, imagine uh, a stream of brilliant white. Like you can, like a boat, something. See, like that's in a distance. Like if you're on the top of a hill or it's wherever you are in the mind's eye, it's good to kind of imagine you're at a higher vantage point, and you know, you can imagine the light just beam right down broadcast down to them you can imagine you're like an angel you're beaming uh you know uh, look at look at all the you can see the sailboats out here everyone's really uh enjoying the ocean here 
surfers out here. Uh, what a scene uh, to partake. Uh, I think it's a perfect uh, way for us to uh, share, have fun, and also do some light work and consider some celebrations of humanity um, and the celebration of the woman, the flower, the, the womb, the vagina. Yeah. And... Ah, and, and so, so yeah, and, and, and so just imagine that bright white light streaming down, uh, them, them holding the light, you can imagine devices illuminated in light, brilliant beams, uh, you can imagine uh, your, your bed, your bedroom, that's, that's a good one. Oh, wow, that really... <laughs> Um, awesome guys alright so we'll see you we'll see you next time remember to beam whatever you need to make it make it pure purify yourself only allow love in your space anything that is not specifically about love and your dream mate is about your non dream mate and so you know, make make your life conform to, to, to what you want and, 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 and true love so that nothing becomes uh, an, an interference. Aloha.